Hello and welcome to Match Day Live. Now today we face Oldham, Oldham Athletic away. Now I'm going to talk to you at the Peninsula Stadium. Unfortunately we've not got that much greenery behind me because we've got the frost covers on the pitch. But I hope you enjoy the Peninsula Stadium behind me. But as I said we're facing Oldham Athletic today. Now if you want to watch the game, go to live at soulforcityfc.co.uk. Make sure you check it out on there because you'll be supporting the boys. It is £10 for UK viewers, £7 for international viewers. Now, with that, you'll get full replays and full commentary as well, so make sure you check it out. Those prices are set by the EFL and it's the only way you can watch the game if you are a Salford supporter. So make sure you go in there and get your score pred predictions in right now as well. So let's go on YouTube. We have got some predictions already flying in. We've got James Marsh that says, come on Salford. I'm not really sure on it today. I think it's going to be tough. I'm going for a draw, but if we win, then this is going to be great. Love that attitude, but I want wins only today, James. We've also got Chris Green that says 1-0 to Salford City, and he's saying that Richie Towell is going to score as well. We've also got Jake that says 4-0 to Salford with a Henderson masterclass as well. So it's going to be a very, very interesting game today. Now, if you want to line up the lineup, it's on your screens right now as well, but I'll read it off for you too. We have got Vanslav Haladki, Tom James, Ibu Torre, Ash Easton is captain the side he is starting today. Tom Clark, Jordan Turnbull, Richie Towell, Oscar Threlkeld, Robbie Gotts, Paul Coots and Ian Henderson. Now I see that Tom James and Paul Coots are on there as well. In case you missed it this week, check it out on YouTube. We did our Solvid City team talk in partnership with the EFL and mine and Paul Coots and Tom James were there as well, as well as our manager Richie Wellens too. So make sure you check it out after the game as well because it's had some interesting stuff. Talking about what teams are supporting, we had Salford City super fan, the little lion himself, Alfie Harvey as well, quizzing them on all things Salford and just to get more information about them. Paul Coots is a massive Aberdeen fan as well, we found out. And if the class in 92 were invited round to tea at Tom James, Tom James said he would make them beans on toast. Not sure if that would be my pick, but let me know in the comments what you would have answered to that question as well. Now, we have got James Marsh that says, I'm going for a 1-0 Salford win. Thank you for getting back in touch. Love that win. Really do appreciate that as well. So, if you want a little bit of match day content, here's an inside look at Inside Training.
our inside look at inside training. Now, if you're wondering what the track was on there, it's a track by Jace Campbell with his new single, Lost. Make sure you check it out. He is our Salford City season ticket holder as well and a Salford City supporter. So congrats on your new single from all of us here at Salford City. We're absolutely loving it here. But check him out on Twitter. His Twitter at is at jacecampbell03. Check it out on there. Give him a follow and make sure you get sharing that single as well. Amis supporting Amis. That's the way it's got to be here at Salford. Now, what are your thoughts on the game? We've got some score predictions flying in for this. Now, really want to ask you guys, some people say it's a derby, some people say it isn't. Let me know what you think. It is a local derby. It's not that far away. We have got Steve Horton that says 5-0 to Salford City. Come on, boys. Absolutely love that score prediction. Last time we had this fixture, it was 4-1 to Salford City. So a clean sheet for Vasilak Kalaki is exactly what he'd be looking for. Now, if you are looking forward to this interview, I am too. So this is going to be part one of Vasilak Kalaki's interview that we did for the preview. You might have seen that a little bit of a sneak peek in the week on social media at Salford City FC. But here's what Vasilak Kalaki has been thinking about settling into the team and about his thoughts on Oldham Athletic. Oh, uh, well, I think everyone in the dressing room are, are, are great guys and, and stuff as well. So there is no doubt about to feeling good and, and enjoying every day at the work. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be to be part of the team. And how have you found League Two so far in the standard of uh, the football, the other teams, what you expected? Well, to be honest, uh, it's tougher than I expected because, uh, you know, before when I joined the club, everyone talking about how we going to fly over the league and 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 as as we are winning team and and it looks a little bit like it's going to be a nice season, you know, 35 wins and everything's going to be easy. But it's not. Uh, it's very tough. Uh, the the standard and, and level of quality in the league is is pretty high. And but it's good. Uh, it's good. And and we have to you know be ready and and uh, work hard uh, every day and and get get some some great results. What what push us to to highest possible. And as for us, it's been an okay start to the season. Are you and the team happy with where we are at this point or do you feel we could um, be higher up? Well, I think there were a couple of, of games where where we lost at the last minute and it's always disappointing, you know, when, when you lost the game uh, on the end. Uh, I think if I counting well, it's maybe six points we lost very cheap and we could be much more higher but it's about the progress um it's about to do right things to to end to end uh, every game and then i think we work hard uh and i think it's going to be better and better i'm, I'm quite excited from from how we work right now with uh, not new but pretty new gaffa and and we working on it and I'm pretty pretty sure it's going to be better and on Tuesday night obviously the game was postponed quite late on what effect does that have on you and the other players well it's always disappointing when when you are ready when you work everything for for a game uh you are working preparing to be to be 100 percent ready and, and then you came to the stadium and and it's it's off so uh but we need to we have to take it because obviously the the terms when when we are going through like january february it's always rainy and snow so uh we have to take it we have to be strong uh, our mentality need to be on a on the highest level as possible uh, because you know for every 
every team is the same, same situation, too many uh, matches was postponed. So uh, we just need to switch as, as, as quick as possible and go to the training ground, get the training and then uh, uh, tomorrow go again. So it's all about this. It's all about the, the mindset. Uh, and as I said, to be ready and, and to be focused for yourself and, and for another game. So that was Václav Holadky with our exclusive interview with him by Will Moorcroft on there as well. What do you think of Václav Holadky? Have you enjoyed in this season so far? And is there anything more that you think that Václav Holadky could give this season? What are you looking forward to the most? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. We've got some great comments coming in so far. So we have got Denar Sarsfield on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. They say, come on Salford. And we also have Alfino Argo tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. We also have Matthew Clayton says, come on you Amis, I am going for 3-0 to Salford. I love these big score predictions. Everyone's very confident today and hopefully the lads will rise to that challenge. We've also got Jez Bitch that says 3-0 as well to Salford. He thinks it's going to be an easy win. Is it going to be easy? Let me know what you're thinking. Do you think we might be underestimating this battle that could potentially happen today? Let me know your thoughts on it as well. We've got James Marsh that says, hopefully we can get promoted this season. Come on, boys, and fingers crossed, we're all fighting for that promotion this season, aren't we? He also says that this season in League Two, he thinks it's going to be a quite a tough season, fighting until the end. Do you think it's been a tough season so far? What do you expect from Salford? Let me know as well. Now on Facebook, we have got Bobby Wilson at home that says 3-1 win to Salford. Come on, you Amis. So 3-1 there, a bit similar to our 4-1 win last season as well. We've got Scott Pillen that says a 2-1 away win. Back to winning ways, hopefully. Love that attitude. These, these score predictions are very, very exciting today, which means there's only one thing for it. You will have to get your match pass. Go to live at salvercityfc.co.uk. Make sure you get your match pass on there. It's available worldwide today. So UK viewers, you pay a tenner. International viewers, you pay seven pounds. Now those prices are set by the EFL. Make sure you do check it out on there. You'll have full commentary and full replays as well as having the privilege of watching the game as well. And dare I say it, in the comfort of your own home too, because it is Baltic out there. I have to say it is freezing. And it was a terrific away day at Oldham last season. It was great to see the Amis boys all out in force as well. So let me know, send in your videos as well with the hashtag we are Salford on Twitter to us as well. Let me know if you're singing any chants at home, if you've got all your Salford gear on. Let me know how you're representing the Amis as well because the Amis at home is a force to be reckoned with too. Now, it was an interesting game as I said last season. Let's take a look at Brandon Thomas and Sante's terrific goals at Oldham Athletic. Can there be an immediate reply from those in blue? So a long ball is knocked forward to Thomas Asante. He's going to take it on himself, and he finds the bottom corner himself. A goal inside 60 seconds of their first, and Salford City double their lead. Two in under a minute, and the home fans here at Boundary Park are shell-shocked. They're not used to seeing this. Two goals in two for the 21-year-old. Going to bounce all the way through to the back post. It's four. Thomas Asante there again. Two for Jervis, two for Asante. And surely game over now for Oldham. So that was Ron and Thomas Asante now. Who do you think is going to be our goal scorer today? It's going to be an interesting battle, to say the least. Now, I'm hearing as well that the referee that we have today has had plenty of yellow cards given and red cards, so it could be a feisty battle today. Who knows? I'll get the statistics for you at half time. Make sure you tune in at half time for the match day live show as well, because we will have the second part of that Bad Slav Haladki interview. And I know how much the fans love Bad Slav Haladki as much as we do here in the studio as well. Let's get your score predictions in as quick as we can. Bobby Wilson Holmes says, thanks for mentioning my score. No worries, Bobby. We've got to get all the fans' opinions on Matchday Live because this is what it's about. It's about you guys at home 
because you guys are what matters. Until you're able to be back in the stadium, this is a show for all the Salford City fans, making you feel as involved as we possibly can. So let's get on YouTube as well. Got some terrific comments coming in. Now we have got Matthew Clayton that says, if we get promoted, there's some big teams in League One and hopefully I'll be looking forward to seeing how we fare in League One too. So very positive there. A lot of fighting talk going on in this YouTube chat. We've also got Damien Rowell that says, I'm going for 3-0 as well to Salford City. Come on the lads. 3-0 is a very popular scoreline. What are you thinking? Let me know. Do you think they're going to be right? Or do you think it's going to be a little bit tougher than that? And also, let's be a little bit tricky today. Tell me what minute these goals are going to be scored in and who the goal scorer is going to be. The lineup is on your screens right now as well, so make sure you check that out. We have also got Matthew Clayton saying that Gotts is going to be the one that scores. Is Gotts going to be the one that scores? I'm surprised we have not had a very regular commenter on Match Day Live, where you've got as well. We still don't know which related to it's a Robbie Gotts. But usually we get a score written in saying Robbie Gotts is going to score on this minute, so... Let me know what Minnie thinks going to score as well. We have got James Franklin that says a 5 0 Salford City victory. It's going to be an easy win. I am loving this confidence, getting me very excited for the game. And if you're very excited for the game, go to live.salfordcityfc.co.uk to get your match pass. It is the only way for Salford supporters to go and watch the game today and support the club. We need to support the club as best as we can, so make sure you get that match day pass. Now we've got some more score predictions as well. So, Matthew Clayton says he's going for the 3-0. The minutes of the goals are going to be in the second minute, in the 15th minute and the 68th minute. Very confident there. So two goals in the first half and one in the second half. Is that going to be right? Is that going to be a winning score prediction? Let me know. We've also got Craig Hartley as well that says good luck to Salford City FC. I'm going for 3-1 to Salford City. So a lot of fighting talk there. But you know what I've got to say that, Craig? That's 3-1, so last season it was 4-1, so do you think it's a bit of a down a peg this season? What are you thinking it's going to be? Do you think it's not going to be as good as it was last season? Let me know what you are thinking. I do love all this fighting talk as well. So get your predictions in as well. If you want to get some more information on the game as well, the Insta story, I'll be giving you all the updates on there too. Any pictures that we have from our club photographer, Charlotte Tattersall, will be on there as well. And Soccer Man as well, one of our photographers too. So make sure you check it out in there as well. And on Twitter, we'll have live updates. But above all that, if you want to watch the game, go to live at salfordcityfc.co.uk. It's the only way to watch the game, support the club, support the boys, because it really does matter in times like this as well. Now, on YouTube, we have also got Lucas Cantos. He says, Deste Argentina, Vama Salford, which means he is from Argentina and let's go Salford City. So thank you for tuning all the way from there. What time is it there? Let us know, like, are you tucked up in bed or is it early morning? Let me know what you're thinking. It's always nice to see what international armies are up to all over the world and how they're watching the game as well. Now, we have got James Marsh that says, as I said, I'm going for a 1-0 Salford, but it's going to be a 90th minute winner by Robbie Gotts. What a win that would be. It'd be very, very tense throughout the game, I'm imagining there, James, but a 90th minute win? We will take a 90th minute winner, we definitely will, we really will. We have got someone else on YouTube saying hi, hi, thanks for tuning in. And we've also got Bobby saying, come on Salford, love that attitude Bobby. Make sure you get all your pictures sent in as well, you guys celebrating at home. All your chants, get them filmed as well, send them in because we will retweet the best ones as well on our Salford City social account on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube as well at Salford City FC. Now we have got Craig that says, we, we have been playing great at Oldham, Oldham are a great team, and they would be up for the game, so I wouldn't want a score to be like last season. So he's got a little bit more faith in Oldham than last season as well, so they could be a force to be reckoned with there as well, but so are we, so are the Yammies. So it's going to be a tight battle today. And then we've got Scott Pillar as well, thank you for tuning in Scott, it is really appreciated too. We really appreciate the support here on Match Day Live, so thanks for tuning in. But we are just moments away from kickoff, so you have still time to get your match pass. Go to live.saltcityfc.co.uk. If you want that URL, it's scrolling across the screen right now as well with details on how to get that. Your score bridge as well is going to be in the comments below that's flashing up on the screen. Alison Harvey, 5-1, I mean, she's saying that's a massive score prediction. Love that there. 
Friend of Smallwood, we'll get one more than them. Love that score prediction, that's exactly what I want as well, Brenda. <laughs> then Craig wins a 3 0 Salford. 3 0 is a very popular scoreline today. And Dave Farrar fighting top there says 3 2 to Salford. All them are rubbish at home. Very, very sure there, aren't you, Dave? But as I said, it is nearly kickoff, so get your match pass in, support the boys, and I will see you at half time. Now, at half time, as I said, we'll have the second part of that Bad Talk Holadki interview where he talks a bit more about Old Athletic and what his thoughts are on the game. So make sure you tune into that. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game and get in the Salford City supporters group as well and let me know what you're thinking. I'll read every single comment out live as well on air. So we will see you then, but enjoy the first half of the game and we'll be back here at half time on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. <laughs> 